Hello everyone, Ron here from RJJ's Reactions. And today I'm looking at the replacements. <laughs> here comes a regular. It took me a minute to remember the name of the song there. Um, I haven't heard the replacements before, or if I have, I, I don't recall listening to them. I, it wasn't one of the bands that I listened to um, or bought albums or anything like that. So I, I, I'm not familiar with them. So if I heard them on the radio, that could be possible. But all right, let's have a look at Here Comes a Regular, and I will look at the lyrics afterwards. The replacements, Here Comes a Regular. I think the comment uh, said that it was Paul Westerberg was the singer, I believe. Let's have a listen. After a hard day of nothing much at all The sun has passed, it's too late to cut the grass There ain't much to break anyway in the fall And sometimes I just stay in the mood Chase my place and back for love knows You're like a picture on the fridge It's never stopped with food You used to live at home Now I stay at the house And everybody wants to be special here they call your name out loud and clear Here comes a regular Call out your name Here comes a regular Am I the only one? Here today, well, a drinking buddy that's bound to another town. And once the police made you go away, and even if you're in the arms of someone's baby now. I took a great big whiskey to the uh, anyway. Everybody wants to be someone's here. Someone's gonna show up, never fear. Here comes a regular. Nice piano. I'm sick of everything that my money can buy. A fool who wastes his life, God rest his guts. First the lights and the collar goes up, and the wind begins to blow. Turn your back on a pay your back last call. First the grass and the leaves that last, here comes the snow. Ain't much to break anyway in the fall. <laughs> 
I think that's the end. Um, yeah, good uh, storytelling voice. Um, not too sure about his singing voice, but a good storytelling voice. And this is basically a story. It's a capturing a mood and of a, of a place and a time, I think. We're going to look at the lyrics more closely in a moment. Um, yeah, it was good. It was, uh, it, it's an interesting concept all always to me to to tell a story through music and and we've already seen that on the channel with a couple of musicians and we'll see more of that because that's an, another way of entertaining they're singing singing and then they're storytelling and sometimes they happen at the same time and sometimes it's more storytelling than singing and sometimes it's more singing than, than storytelling sometimes it's just pure singing and there's no story at all all right let's have a look at the lyrics now time for a look at the lyrics as I said, it, as I was listening to the song, I caught quite a few of the lyrics throughout the song. And it was like a, a, a storytelling and setting a mood of a, of a certain place and time, a bar, I think, or a pub, uh, depending on where you live, what you call it. Um, here comes a regular, kind of gives it away a little bit in the title. Uh, well, a person can work up a mean, mean thirst after a hard day of nothing much at all. Summer's passed. It's too late to cut the grass. There ain't much to rake anyway in the fall. And sometimes I just ain't in the mood to take my place in back with the loud mouths. You're like a picture on the fridge that's never stocked with food. I used to live at home. Now I stay at the house. <clears throat> so uh, you're getting a bit of a sense of what's going on here. It uh, sounds a little depressing in a way. <laughs> so very thirsty after doing nothing. Um, summer's over, falls here, not much to do, uh, not in the mood, doesn't want to hang out with loud mouse. And there's always a few loud mouse, usually in a pub or a bar, if it's large enough. Um, and you're like a pitcher in the fridge that's never stocked with food. So you, you're sort of, I may be reading this wrong, but you're, you're there on the surface, but there's not much happening inside anymore. Uh, I used to live at home, now I stay at the house. So it's not a home anymore. It's a house. It's empty in a sense. So in, in terms of the, the soul of it is empty, right? At least that's the way I'm reading it. Um, and everybody wants to be special here. Yeah, that's true. Uh, they call your name out loud and clear. He, here comes a regular. Call out your name. Here comes a regular. Am I the only one here today? Um, so a lot of the time, if you go to the same place for a while, you start to recognize the same people. There's going to be some different ones now and again, but there's going to be a, a certain core that shows up all the time and becomes a regular of that particular bar, at least for a while. Um, and sometimes people are looking for something there. You know, they're looking for friendship. They're looking for love. They're looking for something but they want to be special they want to be noticed and and sometimes the loud mouths are the ones that are you know talking about uh how amazing they are what they did at work today um you know they told the boss off or whatever so um because they want to be special somehow and i think if you don't really feel special in your regular life once you've had a few drinks you can sort of create a, a fictional special for yourself it might not work for the others around you, but they might agree uh, as long as the drinks keep flowing, right? <laughs> uh, well, a drinking buddy that's bound to another town, once the police made you go away, and even if you're in the arms of someone's baby now, I'll take a great big whiskey to you anyway. Um, all right, so loss of a drinking buddy, I guess. Um the quickest way to lose drinking buddies is to stop drinking, by the way. Friends disappear quick. Uh, <laughs> everybody wants to be someone's here. Someone's going to show up. Never fear, because here comes a regular. Call out your name. Here comes a regular. Am I the only one who feels ashamed? Probably not, actually. I may be the only one going to admit it that night. I don't know. Kneeling alongside old sad eyes, he says opportunity knocks once, then the door slams shut. So I'm not get. I, I'm not sure, but I'm guessing this is. Sometimes there's an older 
uh, or they look older anyway, <laughs> maybe it's from the drink, uh, person who's been there a long time, doesn't always talk a lot, isn't one of the loudmouths necessarily, um, but is pretty down, pretty, pretty negative, generally speaking. So opportunity knocks once and then the door slams shut. All I know is I'm sick of everything that my money can buy. The fool who wastes his life, God rest his guts. So yeah, sometimes when you're in that zone where you're not, you're maybe making some money, but you're not making a lot of money. So you, you can't really afford what you'd like to do or what you'd like to have. Um, so you go to the pub, you go to a bar. Buying a few drinks can be a vacation <laughs> in a sense, in, in, in your mind, as long as you've had enough. Um, but it's a, it's sort of a sour vacation. Obviously, you don't feel well the next day if you drink too much. And even if you don't, and once you sober up, once you're off the booze, you're right back where you start. Nothing's changed, really. It might have changed that night for a few minutes. You might have felt, uh, or a few hours even, you might have felt good about yourself. Um, other people might go along with you. Yeah, you're the greatest. And then, but it's not real. Um so the fool who wastes his life, God rest his guts. Yeah, because obviously if you're drinking, it's not good for you, for your stomach in the long run, if you're drinking a lot anyway. Uh, first the lights, then the collar goes up and the wind begins to blow. Turn your back on a pay you back last call. So, you know, come on, buy me another drink, buddy. <laughs> um, first the glass, then the leaves that pass, then comes the snow. Ain't much to rake anyway in the fall. So, yeah, it's a good sort of story in the, in the sense of a setting. It's setting up a setting. And if you've ever been, um, you know, sort of hanging out at, at a bar or a pub for any length of time, you're going to recognize some of the characters and some of the feelings that he has enunciated in these lyrics and in this song. So, uh, yeah, very good uh, mood setting, let's say, and and uh, a little bit of a message there maybe too, if you dig deep enough that, you know, this isn't the way to uh, resolve your issues or, or, or to become special. You know, it, it's, it's a fake special, but anyway, enough of that. Uh, I'm not anti-drinking, by the way, but but uh, there, there are some cautionary tales to be told, but <laughs> let's go there. Okay, if you would like to hear um, a reaction to some other singers or musicians, please let me know. I, I'm making quite a few videos in the next few days. So, and then I will be putting them up um, as I can. So let me know what you'd like to hear. In the meantime, it's Ron from RJJ's Reactions. I appreciate all the support I've got so far and your comments have been great and suggestions too. Until next time, keep listening and stay happy. Bye-bye for now.